God is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Speak it out. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Let the light of God shine in Okobo. Let the light of God shine in Mbo. Let the light of God shine in Urumuko. Let the light of God shine in His order. In Jesus' name. Be seated. The light of God is a person. Let the light of God shine. Glory. The light of God is a person. John, John, John chapter 1, verse 14. We are getting close. We are almost done. And we shall go into a serious session with God. Glory to God. I'm excited. John chapter 1, verse 14. The light of God is a person. Just as the word of God is a person. And the word became flesh. And dwelt amongst us. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the father. Full of grace and truth. So the word. Which was the life. And light of men became a person, became flesh, lived like you and I. Wore dresses, ate food, slept in the night, attended the temple worship. He had a name, he had friends. He had brothers and sisters. He had a village that he came from. The word of God, the light of God, is a person. The next thing, the light of God that is a person, the light of God which is a person, has a name. John chapter 8. Verse 12. John chapter 8, verse 12. We're getting close. Tell them we are getting close. Mogiri cross. Make cross. John chapter 8, verse 12. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. Jesus said, Jesus So this light is a person and has a name. And also <laughs> yes, Say, he who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. So, so this light is a person. 
We can touch him. We can relate with him. We can befriend him. We can talk to him. He can talk to us. He has a name. <laughs> wow. Go ahead, celebrate. Shout Jesus! Jesus. Mark chapter 1. Verses 14 and 15. This Jesus. Jesus. Eh? This name. The of light. This name. The of the word of God. Is the administration of God. And Government. Government. Is the administration of God. Is the economy of God. Is the rulership of God. So Jesus. Jesus. The light of God, Jesus, the word of God, is the kingdom of God. So when we talk about the kingdom of God, we are talking about the kingdom of light. We are talking about the kingdom that is by the word of God. And we are talking about a person. And his name is Jesus. Mark chapter 1, verses 14 and 15. Now after John was put in prison, Jesus came to Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Another, another scripture will say the kingdom of God is near. Yeah, yeah. Near means available. That means the kingdom of God is sitting with you. The kingdom of God is a person like you. The kingdom of God eats with you. His name shall be called Emmanuel. For God shall dwell with us. So the rulership of God is the word of God. The light of God. And is the word of is the name. The name is Jesus. He is the kingdom of God. Because he was in the middle of men. He said the kingdom of God is near. Is at hand. That means you can touch this kingdom. This light. This word. This Jesus. You can touch him. You can receive from him. You can give to him. You can reject him. If you like. You can embrace him. He's near. If he's near, what are you going to do? You can reject him. You can say nonsense to him. He's still the kingdom of God. When we talk about the kingdom of God, he's a person. His name is Jesus. And he's the light of God. He's the light of God. Can I talk to you about Jesus? Glory to God. We are almost done. Wow. The word Jesus. Jesus eh? Permits me to let's do a little thing, a little thing of the study of the word of God. The name Jesus is derived from Joshua. So Joshua is the Hebrew version of Jesus. Joshua is Jesus, go Hebrew. So when we hear Joshua, who is Joshua here? In the version of the Bible, the version of our Bible, that is called the Septuagint. The Septuagint. The Bible that was translated from Hebrew to Greek language. So when they wanted to translate Joshua, Joshua, they used the Greek word Jesus. Jesus in English is Jesus. So Jesus comes from Joshua. Jesus Jesus means Joshua. Jesus was Joshua. Joshua means Jesus. Joshua also means Jesus. So it is okay for somebody to say my name is Jesus. Jesus. Because if somebody's name is Joshua, or we might like Joshua, that is same, the same thing Jesus. In some parts of the world, like in Mexico, Mexico, like in Brazil, Brazil, people answer the name Jesus. Because it means Joshua. So what is the meaning of Jesus? I just don't worry. What is the meaning of Jesus? Just don't worry. Jesus means God shall save. 
Abazimanya. God shall deliver Abazimava. Or God saves Abazanya. God delivers Abazava. God rescues Abazorozgi. God releases Abazadraya. God heals Abazoko. God ransoms Abazonuva. Shout again, Jesus! Walking about doing good. As you're walking about doing good, do not forsake me, oh my Lord. As you're walking about healing the sick, as you're walking about raising the dead. As you are walking about changing stories, do not forsake me, oh my Lord. As you are walking about touching the old, as you are walking about changing, as you are walking about. Raising the light, do not forsake me, oh my Lord. I wish I could walk around as you are walking about changing names, as you are walking about turning things around, <laughs> as you are walking about opening the eyes, do not forsake me. Oh my Lord, I have already mentioned the name of Jesus. I'm missing you, Jesus. We can no longer stop heaven from moving. Sincerely, sir, did I tell you when we say Jesus, we are Jesus, we are speaking volumes. It is sincerely. Jesus is not just a word, Jesus is a Jesus is the entirety of the mystery of God's salvation. Jesus, as you are walking about changing stories, as you are walking about raising the dead, <laughs> as you are walking about changing all lives, do not forsake me, oh my Lord. Do not forsake me, oh my King. Sir, open your mouth and begin to speak. Do not forsake me, oh my Lord. Do not forsake me. 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 As you are walking about changing lives. As you are walking about changing our nation, do not forsake me, oh my. Do not forsake me, my Jesus. Open your mouth and speak. Dig a person and let go. Dig a person and go away. Go from me, go from me. Do not forsake me, oh my God. As you are walking about changing lives, as you are walking about raising the dead, as you are walking about. Can I tell you something? There is something God knows about the name. 
There are few cases in the Bible that the name is given before the birth. I didn't come to teach on the name of Jesus. But let me say a few things. What the Father knows about Jesus is that when you mention Jesus, things cannot be normal. What heaven knows about Jesus is that when Jesus is involved, nothing can be the same. Do you know Jesus did not attain any burial? Because Jesus means God shall save. And if God shall save, then death cannot stand. And quick will I go you. Sincerely, Jesus did not attend a burial, not one. In the case of Lazarus, he waited till he was buried like Lazarus. the first day he came. And when he came, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Why? Because his name is Jesus. That means for the dead, the hope of resurrection is Jesus. Because Jesus means God shall raise the dead. God shall save the dead. So when he said, I am the resurrection, it means when things are dead, I am the restoration of the Father. So he said, Lazarus, come first. He was not praying. He was just declaring his name. God shall restore Lazarus. I don't care what your condition is. I, did I tell you I did not come to preach? I didn't bring preaching. I didn't grow. I'm a witness. God shall heal you. Shout Jesus. Jesus. What does that mean? Don't worry. God shall defend me. Shout again, Jesus. God shall fight my battle. Shout again, Jesus. Jesus, but what shall we do to walk the work of God? He said, just believe in his son. Just go your That's all. Who is his son? God shall save. Sir, healing has a name. Oh God, deliverance has a name. Matthew chapter 1. Be seated. What's your day? Be seated. As I'm talking, so me can you go see a wound that could not heal for years. It's drying up right now. Why? Jesus. Jesus. Means God shall heal the wound. Jesus, No, God shall heal the wound. That's it. Sir, the day you understand the mystery of the name of Jesus, you will escape from destruction. Sincerely. You can preach the name of Jesus, but you don't know it. Jesus is a, it's not what. It's mystery. It's the mystery. The scripture says, in him dwells the fullness the fullness of God is in Christ so everything of God's healing is in, in Jesus everything of God's deliverance is in Jesus so when we shout Jesus it's not just a name it's the mystery of God we are invoking who God is and we are invoking what God does we are 
causing God to be in action. We are provoking God. We are causing God to be available and to do things. Shout Jesus! I trust God today that somebody shall experience Jesus today. I brought Jesus to this land. Jesus in the room. Not Jesus that has never been preached. I am not coming like nobody has preached. I came as a witness. Sir, God told me, go home, your people need you. And you are a missionary to your people. And you ask me, what have you brought? I brought light. And that light is a person. And that person has a name. And that name is the mystery of God. So I bring that mystery to all the altars in the I bring that mystery of the God in Christ Jesus to all the altars, the lineage, the ancestry, the streams, everything that has to do with life in Okobo. Everything in Okobo. Everything in Mbo. Everything in Urumoko. Everything is in Oram. I bring one mystery. Sir, Jesus, Is there nobody with charm? Sir, every trouble has solution. If you ask the Father, he has given you solution. When okay. you say Jesus, Jesus, it is not just a word. It is bringing God to be involved in a situation. That means just laying hands and saying Jesus Jesus can cause impossible things to happen rise to your feet shout that name with understanding seven times one two three four five six seven Keep on shouting that name. Are you born? 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 Keep on shouting that name. Are you born? Are you Keep on calling that name. Are you born? Are you born? All that in your family are receiving the name. Roots and foundations are receiving the name. Principalities and powers are receiving the name Shout Jesus! Jesus. Be seated. What's your name? Sir, the Father trusts Jesus. A G. I met Jesus. A I mean, trust. I you brilliantly. Yes. So God has faith in Jesus. Every time I pray, as a minister, I, I do warfare every day. I walk into difficult situations. And I just remember one thing. What the Father has given to me is everything he has. Sir, God has no other thing. Everything he has, he has given in Jesus. There shall be no other thing the Father will give. Sir, that God has no other secret. Sir, the only secret of God has been revealed. Sir, God has nothing that he has reserved. There is no reserve. Sir, each time I remember that, I get angry at the highest level. And no devil can stop me, sir. What God trusts is what I trust. What God has is what I have. What God gives is what I receive. The only secret of God. When the scripture says in Revelation chapter 12, that war broke 
out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought. And Satan and his angels fought back. But they were not strong enough. That was the mystery of Jesus. God shall prevail. Amazon Dakata. When that name is upon your head, heaven trust you cannot fail. So when that name is in your stomach, heaven knows you shall not fall. So when that name is your garment, heaven knows nothing can stop you. So when God has given that name to you, he has nothing to give you. So you cannot have Jesus and then go back to the Father and ask him another thing. So everything that is in heaven and on earth, is wrapped up in Jesus. So if you ask an angel, he will say, go back to Jesus. So if you go to the Father, he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only Sir, God doesn't have two. God has one. And that one is in Jesus. So when next you call Jesus, Please know that you are invoking the entire mystery of God. It means you are entering into the belly of God. It means you are entering into Eremesa Abasi. That's true. And that's what God has given. Look at Matthew chapter 1, verse 18. We are close. Now, did I tell you as I'm speaking, you are being healed? Ah. I thought I told them. Did I tell them? Did I tell you that as I'm talking, yokes are broken? I'm not sure they know it. Please tell them. Tell somebody. As the word is coming forth, God is doing Jesus. God is saving. God is healing. God is delivering. By the way, Jesus is what? John chapter 1 verse 14. One, judge, what, 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 the word became flesh. And dwelt amongst us. And that word. That became flesh. Has a name. And it's Jesus. These words that I speak to you. The spirit of Jesus. And the life of Jesus. So I cannot finish talking about Jesus. And I come to talk about healing. That so Jesus is the healing of God. As I'm calling Jesus. It means God heals. So what stops you from being healed? It means God delivers. In the mind of God, as I speak Jesus, healing is taking place. Deliverance is taking place. Restoration is taking place. Breakthrough is taking place. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. I see somebody, a man with the scrotum swollen. By the name of Jesus, Jesus, before the end of this ministration, he shall go back to normal. In the name of Jesus, shout Jesus! Now the birth of Jesus Christ. Be seated, please. We are close. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man 
and not wanting to make her a public example was minded to put her away secretly but while he thought about these things behold an angel of the lord appeared to him in a dream saying joseph son of david do not be afraid to take to you to you marry your wife for that which is conceived in her is of the holy spirit verse 21 read it with me everyone one go and read it loud let me hear she will bring forth a son why he will save so two things prophecy and promise Let's talk about prophecy. The word prophecy comes from Greek word prophetas. Pro, pro means for. Fetas means to speak. To declare. So prophecy in Greek means to speak ahead. To speak before it happens. To declare ahead of time. So the prophecy here means Jesus will save his people. She will bring forth a son. You shall name him. Call his name Jesus. Why? He will. So before Jesus was born, there was a declaration ahead. So an anagism that in every generation it is waiting that, that God will save so Jesus is a prophet so when you don't have any prophet to prophesy to you an angel had prophesied in a sense of speaking ahead before you became sick there was a word on ground God will heal his people before you went into darkness there was a prophecy God will deliver from darkness before you went into to trouble God that is a prophecy God will fight your battle before you got lost there was a prophecy a speaking ahead that God will deliver that God will rescue before which is captured before the captors captive before the captive captured there was a prophecy before your family became witchcraft family before the that your ancestry became a cult. There was a prophecy many years ago. A prophecy had come. Who your God was? Who your God was? Who your God was? Who your God was? Before Isom of Yara, is who your God was? Abasimanya. That means there is nothing that can surprise God. God had already made arrangements in every uselessness. There is a prophecy. And that prophecy is Jesus. It means God will save. Let's talk about salvation. For the sick, salvation is being delivered from sickness. For those who are captives, salvation is rescue. For those who without sight, salvation means restoration of sight. For those without future, salvation is hope. Salvation means everything to everybody. It means something to somebody in every condition. When you are alone, salvation means God shall be your companion. When you have been betrayed, salvation means God shall be your helper. When nobody is there to help you, salvation means God is there for you. And it's a prophecy. And it's also a promise. Now, let's talk about promise. Promise is a solemn assurance. No, a solemn assurance. Yes. Atata. Promise is that when the one who made the promise cannot fulfill the promise, 
His integrity is at stake. His honor has been destroyed. That means when there is a promise, somebody puts his honor. Somebody puts his dignity. Somebody puts his integrity. So Jesus is the promise of God. Jesus, so they want, I want. And what is the promise of God here? He said, He shall save His people. He shall save His people from their sins. The only problem on earth is sin. Everything was okay until sin came. So when God delivers from sin, every other thing is sorted out. And Jesus is the promise. And Jesus, I came with Jesus upon your family as a promise. To say what? I came with Jesus as a prophecy upon your family line. Rise to your feet. Did I tell you that ministry today? It's not happening in this stadium. Where is it happening? Open your mouth and mention where it's happening. Keep on talking about it. If it's happening in your business, in your office, in your church, in your compound, let's worship. This is where we have issues. You can shout Jesus. We bought Jesus. But it doesn't make any sense. There is the promise is for his people. A woman on a whiskey. That's it. So let's find out. Look at that scripture. He will save his people. He will deliver Mava. His people. He will free his people. He will heal his people. He will defend his people. He will rescue his people. He will redeem 
his people. Let's know Let's two know things, things about, about his people. His people. Number one, Number one. Key. His, people his people are, are those, those in darkness. Wherever, wherever there are people, people or wherever, or wherever there, there, is, is, there, there, are there is, there are people, there are people in darkness. In darkness. Wherever 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 there, there are his, his people. people. Don't get with Please, Please pay attention. Those, those in darkness are his people. But before you rejoice, when you get, wait till you hear the second thing about his people. The first thing is that where there is darkness, there are his people. You know, the people of God were in Egypt. And there was bondage in Egypt. That is where God sent Moses to. So where there is slavery, there is there are God's people there. We have a on, and the promise of God is upon them. Where there is sickness, God's people are there. And the promise of God is okay. okay. Matthew chapter 4, verse 12 to 16. Stay with me. I told you everything when God sent me, everything is in the world. I can preach for six hours. After that time, I don't, I don't pray. I'm done and I know God has done everything he wanted to do. So just follow me. Trust me. Trust me. Just trust. Matthew chapter 4, verse 12 to 16. Now when Jesus heard that John had been put in prison, he departed to Galilee and leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea, in the regions of Zebulun and Naphtali, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sat in darkness. darkness. What has happened? Light. They have seen a great light. Have you seen light again? Yes. This is associated with Jesus. I am a Jesus. He went and lived in Nazareth. I am a Nazareth. Living Nazareth, he went and dwelt in Capernaum. All of this happening in Galilee. And what, and what was, was written about Galilee, Galilee in Isaiah chapter 9, from verse 1 to 2. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 1 to 2. Nevertheless, the gloom will not be upon her who is distressed. As when at first he lightly esteemed the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. And afterward, more heavily oppressed her by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan. In Galilee of the Gentile, the people who walked in darkness have seen what? Who is this great light? Wow. Jesus. So this is how you understand Matthew chapter 4 from verse 12 to 16. Jesus, Jesus is the great light, light and his and people, people are in Galilee. Jesus is not from Galilee. Galilee. Jesus is not from Galilee. Jesus is in Galilee. He was not born in Galilee. He was not born, Galilee. Galilee. Was not born of Galilee. Galilee. Jesus came of the tribe of Judah. Jesus was in Judah. From the line of David. He was born in Bethlehem. But he left for Egypt. Egypt. To fulfill a promise. That out of, out of Egypt, Egypt I called out my son. I don't want to preach about that. And when, and when he returned to Israel, Israel he heard that the son of the evil king had sat on the place of his father. So he went to Galilee. So Galilee is a place of adoption. Jesus Christ is not from Ruko. Jesus is not from Okobo. Jesus is not from Mo. Jesus is not from Urumoko. Jesus is not from Oro. Jesus is not Ibibu. Jesus is not Anna. Jesus is of God. Jesus is of God. But wherever there is Galilee, wherever there is darkness, 
he comes to live there he comes to stay there in a family without joy he adopts it as his own so those in hopelessness they are his own those in uselessness they are his own those abandoned and rejected they are his own the barren they are his own the sick all those in darkness they are the Galileans he went and lived there so that the prophecy would be fulfilled the Galilee of Gentiles those who sat in darkness have seen a great light so if you are from a family that has a great darkness Jesus is from your family Jesus say Jesus say Era Jesus Era Jesus say Era Jesus So the sick people are his people. The poor people are his people. Sinners are his people. Suffering people are his people. Depressed people are his people. Barren people are his people. Those in bondage are his people. Those in captivity are his people. Terrible people are his people. Cultists are his people. Kidnappers are his people. All those in hopelessness. Jesus is a promise. Just the one that God will save them. The second thing that you must know about the people of Jesus. Jesus, John chapter 1 from verse 11 to 13. He came to his own and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, he gave them rights on the morning to become God's children. Give me a seat to sit down. Bobby put it. Labrasata. Rise to your feet. The glory of God is taking over this place. He came to his own. He came to his own. His son did not receive him. But everyone that received him. So it is the kidnappers that received him. That the promise is fulfilled. The sinners that receive you, that the promise is fulfilled. The sick that receive you, that the promise is fulfilled. The promise is fulfilled. What we receive. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said he came to his own. Look at that scripture. He came to his own. But his own did not receive him. But what happened? But as many that received him, as many sinners, as many in darkness, that means if you come from a hopeless place, everything being equal, you should belong to Jesus. The promise of God should be over you. But you must receive him. It is in receiving him that the promise is fulfilled. 
When you receive him, you made Jesus. Every promise the Father made is fulfilled. When you receive him, I brought you this plan of God. I brought you this promise of God. I brought you this promise of God. When you receive him, he becomes a member of your family. And the promise that the father made is fulfilled. is fulfilled. What is the promise? He will save his people. The moment you receive him, he becomes part of your destiny. The battles of your destiny becomes his battle. And the promise and the prophecy is this. Now, he will say that go in shout Jesus this is what we are I'm done with your know. sitting down means I'm done it has it all working right what is left is God or those who have rise to your feet now go Wherever you are, those who receive him and believe in him, those who surrender to him as he went to Galilee to fulfill the plan of God, that the Galilee of Gentiles, those who dwelt in darkness, have seen a great light. It means when you receive him. Every darkness in your family receives a great light. Every darkness in your family, every darkness in your business receives a great light. Now, there are many of you here who have already received him. Many of you are believers. Many of you are preachers. But tonight, God sent me so that you can make a renewal of your dedication and receiving Him. There is a light that will shine again. I said there is a light that will shine again. I said there is a light that will shine again. And everyone here who has never received Him. What does it mean to receive him? Is to give your own life and take his own life. Is to receive forgiveness. Is to receive mercy. Is to turn away from former ways. Turn away from your roots. From your father's line. From the things of the ancestors, from the ways of the world, and then accept him as the way of God, as the truth of God, and as the life of God. Instantly, you are his own. And the promise of God is fulfilled. He will save his people. We are going to do something right now. Every minister that is here, every believer that is here, I want you to be on your feet. Every child of God here, I want you to rededicate your life. To make a fresh, a fresh commitment. On the on the basis of the fresh information revelation you have received today. Anything you have known newly about Jesus, say, I bring you this life. I hand over my ancestry to you. My roots and my foundation, the things of the past. Say, I did not just come to you as an individual, I came to you 
as an ancestry. The covenant of the fathers. The covenant of the mothers. The covenant of the bloodline. Every child of God say those words. I return not as an individual. You know, the chances are that when you gave your life to Christ, it was just you. But you are more than an individual. You are expected to be a people. So that through you, Jesus can become a member of your family. Jesus can become a member of your family. A member of your ancestry. Every child of God. Say, I bring my ancestry. If you are from Urefo Oruko, mention where you come from. And mention that local government. Where you, the name of your family. No symbol. I see a V. I see a one. I see a Gati. I see a Sibaka. I see a Vre. I see a one. Whatever. Wherever. Mention, I bring my ancestors. Mention the names of your father. Begin to mention. Begin to mention. Heaven. In heaven. A two be so, a bunny song, yak. A two be so, yak. It yet a mule, This moment is for believers. This moment is for believers. Ministers, make a consecration of your roots. I was sent to the land. Every child of God, whether you are from our own nation, whether you are from Ibibio, whether you are from Anna, from Ini, Ikono, Ikoro, Kwene, Ogora Kara, Ika, Esenu, Remukana, Fone, Tume, Boabak, Oruwa, Nami, Korobasi, Isuro, Bolo, even on Parini, no na ekit, esre ke purefo ru gombo ru koro no kobo. Isra ta isri bom suvio. Ibe si pa sutan ibiri bom etina ni itu. Uruan. Wherever you come from, from Yoruba land, but you are here. From Ibo land, you are here. From the northern part, you are here. Stand on behalf of your land. Dedicate, dedicate. Speak it out. All believers, all believers. Speak it out. You have time. The moment has come. In the name of Jesus. Let me hear your amen like fire. I still want to speak to believers. Everyone here who is a child of God, you know you have a witness. Ministers. Sir, this time I need ministers in this place. Every one of you as ministers, you are standing, not just 
as a believer, but you are standing as a, a spiritual ancestor. You are standing in the priesthood to replace ancient priesthood. So I want every minister and every child of God in this place to stand intentionally. Go beyond yourself. God wants to use you. God wants to use you to enter a larger line and community. I want you to lift up your two hands. Speak the name of your community, the name of your land. If you know the name of demons that have been set in the past, different altars, mention their names and call the name of Jesus upon them. You are standing in the priesthood of Christ. Every child of God, I want you to speak. Say, I renew my dedication. I receive the secret of the Father, the fullness of the Father, which is Jesus. And I receive it to replace every ancient altar in my family line, in my community in my ancestry in my locality say by the blood of Jesus I replace I replace every ancient blood heart, every ancient blood sacrifice with the blood of Jesus say let the blood of Jesus answer my community let the blood of Jesus begin to speak every minister here, every child of God speak please many of the things you are going through is because there is no redemption of the land it's because there is no redemption of the roots. You are just okay being a child of God. You have not performed the ministry of the priesthood, of the substitution, of allowing Jesus to take the place of your family, for Jesus to take the place of your roots. So stand as a child of God, as a minister. Say, Jesus, come into my line. You are my own. For where there is darkness, those people belong to you. My community is in darkness and we belong to you. We are in poverty and we belong to you. We are Nazareth, a people in darkness. Come and dwell with us. Come and dwell in our land. Open your mouth and speak, everyone. Open your mouth everywhere. The time has come. They are as come. In your history. As you speak, the host of God are visiting the five local governments of, of our own nation and visiting all the local government that you represent. As you speak now, the host of God are visiting your roots. The carriers of the blood of Jesus. They are visiting ancient foundations. That is why God sends me. The blood is flowing everywhere. We are no longer here. We are in that place of the altar. 
We are in the witchcraft coven. In your different localities. We are where people's blessings are kept. We are where the blood of darkness, the blood of ancient sacrifices are speaking. And we are replacing them with the blood of Jesus. Stand on behalf of your family. Stand on behalf of your father. Stand on behalf of your mother. Stand on behalf of your ancestors. Say the blood of the past no longer speaks. Jesus has come into my place. Jesus belongs to my family. The death he died. He died the death of my family. He paid the price of my family. Light has come to my family. Go ahead and speak. Stop speaking. The land is taking the blood of Jesus. The land is receiving the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to speak to those who want to take a decision. The scripture says he came to his own, but his own did not receive him. But those who received him, those who received him, receiving him means you acknowledge that life without light is useless that you don't have that light yet that your family is Galilee your own personal life is without salvation he said those who believe in him who receive him he gave them rights he gave them power to enjoy the light of God to enjoy the word of God to enjoy that promise of God and what is that promise of God? God will save. To enjoy the prophecy of God. What is that prophecy? God will deliver. At this point, this is why I came here. So that somebody in this congregation who knows he needs life not the life of the flesh but the life of God in Christ will take a personal decision this is personal I say this is personal I want to hear you say personal that's it you will take that personal decision and come out now somebody who is aware of a truth you have not yet experienced forgiveness of sin. You don't have peace with God. You have not yet settled issues of life with God. You have not yet been 
called God's own in spirit and in truth. And you know that right now, if God comes today, you don't have the confidence to stand before him. This invitation is for you to come out here. And I will dedicate you to God and hand over your family to God and then ask God to give you the right to enjoy the promises of God. And the promise is that God will say, Wherever you are, walk down here. We have only five minutes. Just five minutes so that we can go into praying for you. Just five minutes. Wherever you are, just start coming. Now, you can stand and think, oh, people are looking at me. It means you are going back with the same darkness. It means this light came, but you chose darkness. It means the light of God that has come is not your own. There is no problem. There is no problem. But instantly as I'm talking to you, there is no time. I don't want to count. I'm just giving you, I want to start praying in the next one minute. In the next one minute. So wherever you are, find your way. If you lie before God, there is no help for you anywhere. This is your final bus stop in the sight of God. Take your, Take your phone, phone so don't leave your phone behind. Don't leave anything behind. Bring your things so that you will not say you lost anything. You want to dedicate your life to God now. You want to dedicate your life to Jesus. You want to dedicate your life to you are the friend I need. Wherever you are, come out. Baba, ba, worry. You are the friend I need. Jesus. You are the friend I need. Jesus, can say, if you are ashamed of me before men. I will be ashamed of you before the angels of your father. Sir, if you are ashamed of salvation, there is no help anywhere for you. If you are ashamed of coming to receive salvation, if you are ashamed of coming to receive the promise of God, the prophecy of God, sir, that means your hope is hopeless. Your future is nothing. Wherever you are, just come. As you are standing, begin to speak to him. Eyes closed. Don't look at me. Eyes closed. Pray. Begin to talk to him. You are the friend I need. Jesus. You are the friend I need. Wherever you are, come out, come out, come out. You have only one chance. Remember, tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may be too late. What will you do tomorrow? What will you say before God? The light came and you rejected it. You are the friend I need. You are the friend I need. Jesus. You are the friend I need. Jesus. Jesus. You are the friend I need. Jesus. You are the friend I need. You are the friend I need. Jesus. The friend who will save me. Shut up. Jesus. The friend who will forgive me. Jesus. I'm, 
I'm still waiting. We have another one minute. Somebody who is sitting down there, you are rejecting the promise of God. You are rejecting the prophecy of God. And there is no hope. There is no hope. There is no hope. So wherever you are, open your mouth. Come out here. And if you are standing here, begin to speak to him. Don't lose him on worry in the name of Jesus Christ and if you are standing here you had accepted Jesus but at some moment you took things for granted and you went back to the former lives and went back and you were no longer zealous for the Lord you lost the presence of God and lost anointing it's, a, it's an opportunity to rededicate your life so wherever you are if you are in that category, you just, you just stand wherever you are and begin to speak to God. God told me there will be revival today. But if, you have, if you have been waiting for this day to personally, personally receive salvation, I am still waiting for you for one minute. You will answer before God if you are ashamed to come and receive this life. This is not a threat. I'm just helping you. So just walk forward. Do not, do not, do not worry about who looks at you, who sees you. It does not matter. Just come forward. I'm still waiting. 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 Somebody there, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. As you come, begin to speak. Begin to speak. Begin to speak. I'm still waiting. God is still giving another person a chance. Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may be too late. Are you going to arise and shine because your light has come? Or are you going to reject the light? Remember, remember it is those who receive him that are his people. He will save only his people. His people are those in darkness who receive him. If you are in darkness but you receive him, you become his people. And he will save you. He will deliver you. He will heal you. He will forgive you. He will restore you. He will raise you up. He will change your life. Are you going to reject him? Or are you going to step forward? It does not matter what you have been doing. It does not hold it against you. He already died on the cross for you. All you need is to come and receive I'm still waiting. 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 Halabosha katala rasikatu. Landa tala boshe katala. Labro la masika tala raka. Landa ta poma si kata la brosi. Lianda ta pole brasi kata. I'm almost done. I'm almost okay. done. After this, after this is just a matter, matter of a brief moment. After this prayer, just a brief moment, a brief moment. We're going to pray for signs and wonders, for miracles, for the outbreak of God's glory in this place. And then we'll take testimonies and celebrate the goodness of God. But this moment is the most important thing. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world? There are some brothers who are still coming out. Come, out. Come out. Some sisters, wherever you are. Are you going to accept him so that you become his people or you are going to reject him and keep on living in darkness? The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Keep on speaking as you are coming out. Don't worry.
you are the friend I need Jesus You are the friend I need Jesus You are the friend I need Wherever you are, raise your hand Just speak to him that you are, you are the only friend I need the only promise I need. The only prophecy I need. The only hope I need. You are the friend I need. Oh, Jesus, thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, I just want to look at me. Look at me. I am not better, I am not better than you. I am not forgive you. That's the truth. Does that surprise you? I am not better than you. In 1991, let me tell you a little story about myself. 1991, I was 22 years old. He's very good. He's very bad. And I had an amazing opportunity of Jesus coming into my life. It was in, it was in Lagos. Listen to me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Tell her, look at me. Don't let something lie to you. Look at me. My, my sister just looked at me in the eyes and told me, remember tomorrow will be too late. Remember tomorrow may be too late. That was all. And, and after that, that my, my life changed. Jesus, Jesus came into my life. I never Jesus, Jesus all over me. By the grace of God, 20 years ago, I was ordained. So I've been an ordained minister for 20 years. I have been preaching Jesus for about 20, for about 33 years. About 33 years. I have seen his goodness. I have seen his kindness. I have seen his light in my life. So I'm not sitting here because I'm better than you. I'm sitting here because he came into the only good thing you can have is when it comes into your life. Nobody is better than you. And you are not worse than any other person. The only difference is Jesus in your life. So you are not here because you are a bad person. You are here because there is one who wants to come into your life. I don't know where I'm communicating. The only reason you are standing here, you are not standing here on account of anything you have done wrong. You are standing here because there is somebody who wants to become your part of your life. Somebody wants to make you his person. Somebody wants to adopt your family so that your family becomes his own family. So that your lineage becomes his lineage. So that your problem becomes his problem. So that your sorrow becomes his sorrow. So that your, so that your battle becomes his battle. So so don't stand here be like you are standing before judgment. It is a joyful thing. 1991, he came into my life. And from that moment till now, God has used me to bring light to other people. God has used me to interpret the dreams of others. God has used me to transform the life of others. It is because of that that I'm standing here. I am not here because I've fasted and I've prayed. I'm not here because I'm holier than you. I am here because Jesus came into my life. And I, I became his own. It became my life. It became my salvation. It became my rescue. That is the opportunity you have right now. Do you want to take that opportunity? Lift up your two hands. And everyone in the congregation, all those who who are missing this opportunity well, in case you still want to run down here sincerely I can, be, I can still be patient because Jesus wants you to become his own. He wants to adopt your family. He wants to come into the darkness in your life. He wants to change your life. 
That's all. That's Nothing all. else. We didn't ask you to come here because you are a bad person. We asked you to come here because the light of God wants to come into your life. So if you still want to come, we are waiting for you. Walk down, walk down, walk down. Because if I pray, a chapter will be closed. Who knows you may never have this opportunity? Sincerely, you don't know what tomorrow will bring. You don't know what tomorrow will bring. You don't know. So, quickly run down here. Quickly run down. Okay, I'll just count. Let me count. 30 is okay, right? At the, end of, at the end of counting 30, this, 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 this case is concluded. We can no longer open that door for today. One. So wherever you are, start running down the last chance. Come, light wants to come into your life. The word of God wants to enter into your life. The salvation of God wants to come into your life. Two. Wherever you are, we no longer want you to walk. You have to start running. You are wasting time. Three. This is the time to run. Four. The, the gate is about being closed. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Remaining 20 and we shall move forward. If you reject this moment, it shall be recorded that you reject it. The point is this, I don't know what excuse you will give to God that light came. We have spent millions of naira just for this one night. And I didn't come expecting to raise money from anybody. Sincerely. When we ask for offering, it will be whatever you want to give if you have to give. So the expectation was spending millions. The expectation was nothing except that God will come into your life. That's how expensive. That is how expensive it is just one night. And there's no two millions way. and millions of naira have been spent just for this one night. And the only plan is that light will come into your life. Because what will happen at the end of this meeting tonight, I will dedicate you to go back home and become the light of your family. That's it. Sincerely. Sincerely. That's why we spent money. People have been coming to this place night after night. For three weeks, people have been spending night here. Every day, people come here to pray. The past three weeks, every night, every day, people come to pray here. Hundreds of people taking turns. Sometimes three vehicles, four vehicles, bringing people every night coming to pray here. One night, just one night, and it was just for you. No other expectation. So if you miss it, that means all the sacrifices will be recorded against you. So you cannot miss it. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. Ah, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, only 10 remaining at this point, the gate is already closing. You can only run, you can no longer walk. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, Twenty-nine. Who are the last people? The gate is about being closed. Who are the last people? The gates are being closed right now. The gates are being closed. I just want to bless God. Everyone in the congregation stand on your feet. Everyone. And all the ministers of God, 
Please, at this moment, I want you to stand in solidarity with me. I just came as an errand boy. Sincerely, that's all I have done. I didn't bring anything. I just brought the word of witnesses. I was to go. I have come. And I'm, I'm fulfilling all the ministers of God. Please stand in solidarity. And just stretch your hand towards this amazing souls. Amazing souls. The ones that Jesus died for. It was on a moment like this that it came. It came into my life. And look at 33 years later. I have, I have come to fulfill this call. I came to raise people. Somebody shall rise. In every family. Go family. By the God who called me, stretch your, me. stretch your hand towards me. Everyone in the congregation, stretch your hand towards me. I say, I came to raise people. Here we go, sir. I came from where people have come With Jesus coming to your life, I came to raise somebody. Ngundi, no, we are lala. I came to raise men. raise men. Ngundi, no, we are lala. Came to raise men. Afuma lala. You rise. Afuma yema. You shine. Afuma ru. You leave. You live your life. You live your life. You stand. You live. You shine. You shine. You shine. In the name of Jesus. Stretch your hands towards me. Everyone in the congregation. As I give these ones these words to speak. You will also speak it as consecration wherever you are. And ministers, as you, as you stretch your hand towards this one, you will speak over this one that the words, the words that they decree, this words that they speak shall never be used against them. But this word shall stand with them and be recorded for them unto eternity. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you that you came in the flesh, took on flesh just for me to make me your own. I have come out. I refuse to be ashamed of you. I am standing here before all these witnesses, before all these thousands. I am here to acknowledge you that when you came, you had me in mind. You carried my name, carried my destiny, carried my purpose, carried my family. You came for me. I am standing here for you. You were not ashamed to call me your own. I am not ashamed to stand here and declare you as my own. Lift up your tongue and say, Lord Jesus, I stand here to declare that I'm not ashamed of you. You came because of me. I am standing here because of you. You went to the cross for me. You died my death. You were condemned in my condemnation. You were rejected in my rejection. You carried my guilt. What killed you was not the nails. My sins killed you. The sins of my ancestors killed you. The sins of my family killed you. The wickedness of my people killed you. You died my death. Say, Lord Jesus, you were not ashamed of me. You carried my guilt to the cross, took my death and died. My sin killed you. You died for me so that I will not die, so that I will be forgiven. Thank you.
because you took my sin. Say it loud. Say, because you took my sin. I can no longer hold on to sin. I let go sin. I turn away from sin. Say, Holy Spirit, come and help me. Let every word that I speak be alive forever. I have declared before God, before his angels, and thousands of these witnesses that I have rejected sin. I return from sin. I no longer walk the path of sin. I no longer walk the ways of sin. Jesus, by my standing here, I left the place of sin to stand in your place. You died on the cross. That was the place of my sin. I am standing here in the place of your righteousness. I repent of my sin. I am so sorry for all my sins. I turn my heart from those sins. Begin to speak, mention those things, confess them. Confess them one after another. Wherever you are, you are you have been struggling with any sin. Hand it over, hand it over. Mention it by name and hand it Keep on speaking. Mention those sins. Say, I reject it. I renounce it. I no longer have anything to do with it. Say, Satan, from today, I break every covenant. Every covenant. Wherever you are, rededicate yourself to God. In the name of Jesus, lift up your two hands. Say, Lord Jesus, let your blood wash me. Wash me of every guilt. Let your blood cleanse me. Make me clean. Make me holy. Come into this life. Lift our two hands. Welcome God into your life. Speak to him personally. Say, come into this. Life. Break every covenant of sin. Come. come, I am the Galilee that needs you. I am the Galilee that wants you to live in me. I am the person walking in darkness. I am the one who has been living in darkness. Without you, I do nothing. My life is useless without you. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. 
Wonderful Jesus, I love you. You are wonderful, Jesus. You are wonderful, Jesus. You are wonderful, Jesus. Jesus, I love you. You took my place on the cross. You paid the price for my life. You shed the blood for me. Jesus, I love you. You were judged for me. You took my condemnation. You were killed in my place. I love you. You were buried in my tomb. You took my place in hell. You answered my name in death. I love you. I love you, wonderful Jesus. Everyone sing it. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful Jesus. Jesus, I love you. I love you. Wonderful Jesus. I love you. Wonderful Jesus. I love you. Wonderful Jesus. I love you. I love you. You are wonderful, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. Wonderful healer, I love you. The merciful high priest, the one who reigns forever. You are the light I need. I love you. I love you. Wonderful Jesus. I love you. Wonderful Jesus. I love you. I love everyone, everyone, wherever you are. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord. The healer of my sickness, my deliverer from death, the rescuer of life. I love you. You are the prayer of life. By your stripes I am healed. By your poverty I am rich. I love you. You were cursed for me so that I can be blessed. You took my place on the cross. I love, shout, I love you. 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 No one like you. No friend like you. No other savior like you. I love you. The sight of the blind, the speech of the dumb, the hearing of the deaf. I love you. The friend of the lonely, the lifter of the lowly, light for those in darkness. I love, shout I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, shout I love you, shout I love you, I love you, I love you.
Jesus Christ. Rise to your feet, everyone. Let's deal with some covenants. We are getting close to the core of this mission. The covenant that associates you with the past. The covenant that makes you not to shine. Everyone, wherever you are, it's not just about this one. Wherever you are, wherever you are, lift your two hands. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, by your death on the cross, you establish the new and eternal covenant so that by your blood on the cross, every ancient covenant is broken. Say, I stand in your sight today. I take hold of the blood. The blood of the covenant on the cross. I reject every covenant of death. Covenant with the marine. The covenant of witchcraft. The covenant of occult. The covenant of secret cult. The covenant of violence, every covenant of Satan, by which demons have control over my life and affect my life in ways that I don't know. Say, by your blood, Jesus, I break those covenants. Say, in the name of Jesus, Satan. I break every covenant with you. Every covenant, knowingly or unknowingly. The ones I know and the ones I don't know. The ones made by the ancestors that no one in my generation knows about, but is affecting life in my generation, one way or another. I declare by the blood of Jesus Christ by which a new covenant has been enacted. I am free from those ancient covenants. Therefore, from today, that covenant no longer speaks over me. Say so every dark covenant, covenant of death, by the blood of Jesus Christ, you cease to speak over me. You cease to represent my family. You cease to control my lineage by the blood of Jesus Christ. Begin to speak. Begin to speak everywhere. Open your mouth and declare. You no longer speak over me. You no longer speak over my business. You no longer speak over my marriage. You no longer speak over my health. Say by the blood of Jesus Christ, I am free from every covenant of death, from every covenant of sickness, from every covenant of the water, from the covenant of witchcraft, from every initiation, say by the blood of Jesus Christ, I am free. As you speak, things are leaving you. As you speak, things are leaving you. Keep on speaking. Everyone, wherever you are, you are speaking. We are dealing with ancient covenants, with ancient deities over our land, 
from your family line to your local government to the nation wherever you are speaking the covenant of sickness open your mouth the covenant of poverty you no longer have power speak everywhere everywhere wherever you are ministers go around make sure people are standing everywhere that's why they came here ministers everywhere GFCC ministers wherever you are make sure people are standing Everywhere, speak those words. Say, I'm free from every curse associated with those covenants. Say, I am free from every curse associated with the covenant of death, the covenant of the ancestors. Say, I have accepted Jesus, who is the light of God, the life of God and the light of the world therefore I am free from curses because it became a curse for it is written curse be upon the one on the tree so that I can enjoy the blessings of Abraham in the name of Jesus Christ let me hear your amen like fire I didn't hear everywhere. This prayer is not just for this one. This prayer is, this is the reason why you came here. We are entering into your roots. We are entering into foundations. We are, we are changing things by this words we are speaking. Remember these words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are what? So we are taking spirit and life into your root. I use you as vehicles to travel into your root and lineage. Lift up two hands. Say, in the name of Jesus, having received Jesus as the life of God and the light of God and the life of the world, I break from the covenant of death and every curse associated with this covenant, the covenant of the ancients, I am now in Christ for it is written whoever is in Christ Jesus is a new creature the old is gone these old covenants are gone the spirits of these covenants are gone from my generation forward the spirits of this covenant shall no longer work poverty shall no longer work Loneliness shall no longer walk. Barrenness shall no longer walk. Say, I receive the life of God. It is written that Jesus became a curse on the tree so that I can receive the blessings of Abraham. I am no longer cursed. I am blessed. Jesus took my curse. I am now enjoying the blessings of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to speak. I am now enjoying the blessings of Jesus. He took my curse. I am the one enjoying the blessing.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear you shout, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Now something will happen in your life now. Everyone be upstanding. Now that you have connected Jesus, you have received. I will give you opportunity to call that name as you call that name. We shall it shall visit every place of bondage. Men of you will go again. So for go again. I must agas the middle of you that there is, that there is marine bondage. And you are going to move back as you can call that name. Go again. The man walk. His death and resurrection through the blood by the Holy Ghost shall go to the water to the ancient shrine to the kingdom where you are died and shall untie you and bring you back. Go again. Go again. If it, is, if, it is, if it is always before a drabaya, if it is correct and true in your life, shout Jesus. I'm, I'm talking about everyone here. Lift up, lift up your two hands. Let me see if you are here. I shall give you opportunity. Every one of you that is tied down in witchcraft covenant. We shall visit the coven now. Wherever you have been tied, wherever you were condemned and kept, wherever you were buried, by the name of Jesus, I will visit there and we will bring you out. If it is true, shout Jesus. Jesus. Wait, it has not yet started. I use all of you to connect your local government, your village, your lineage, your village, your lineage. By the instruction that I give you, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we shall visit places that have been deciding your destiny and your future. Whether as a minister, you know there are so many ministers who live in bondage but they are preaching. And they preach grace but they don't know they are in bondage. So, we are going to use the name of Jesus to travel to places that people visit in dreams. Places that you see only in dreams. Those of you I will have that you keep on going to primary school. You keep on going to the ancient compound where you were born. Those of you that the dead people will come and quarrel with you. Whatever is the connection, we are settling it now, now, now. now. Glory to God. Are you ready? Okay. okay, so we want to travel now. Lift up your two hands. Say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. please come and come take me to the valley of the dry bones. Where my destiny will be changed tonight. Please be my security. Please be my safety. Take me to where my things have been stolen and kept and bring me back with all my blessings. Are you ready? Bible Hands lifted.
Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like a lightning. Jesus said, I have given you authority to trample upon snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall harm you. Satan, I have answered this call. I'm speaking to Satan now. I have answered this call. You, the devil, you hear me. Demons, principalities, and powers, altars affecting my people and the land of my people. Altars keeping the blessings of my people. Altars speaking against the plan of God for my people. God told me, come, go home. Your people need you. You are missionary to your people. I have come home. And I'm a missionary to my people. By the fullness of the authority of God, I command you that your time is over now. Amen. In the life of everyone standing on this beach, wherever they come from, any lower government, any state, they are my people. They are standing here. They are my people and I brought Jesus. I have announced Jesus. And people have called the name of Jesus. Now Satan, as I speak, all the things you have stolen from years must be restored tonight. Yeah. Those that have been kept and lied to in the marine, in spiritual marriage, of any form molestation in the dream, a pinle, one irina, unanle, a grimpen, in the name of Jesus. The manipulation of witchcraft, the spirit of violence, ulubra, ubuyo. The strange things that were not known among our people that have come over our people. As I speak, you are living in the name of Jesus. I take authority in the name of Jesus, who is the promise of God. The promise is that you will save. Him. And as I say, I give this one the name Jesus to call every altar. Every shrine, every place where they have been tied, I am decreeing this is not suggestion. This is a command. You shall let God's people go, my people, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your two hands. Eyes closed. Ministers, please be around. Concerning everyone in the marine coven, in witchcraft coven, in any kind of coven, the time to come back to life is now. You are going to speak, you are going to call the name Jesus seven times. And by the time you get to the seven times, you will keep shouting. To do. And then you begin to shout, for, 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 I am free, I am free. I will give you those words. You will speak until I tell you to stop speaking. By the time you get to the seventh time, don't worry about what happens around you. Focus on another person. That name is a promise. And that name is a prophecy that God will say. So as we call that name, wherever salvation needs to take place, God will say, are you ready? If you believe, say, I believe. If you expect, say, I expect. Hands lifted, eyes closed. You will call with all your mind. The name of Jesus. Shout Jesus. One. Ancient gates. It is recorded in the book of Acts of Apostles that as the angel came to Peter, 
he touched Peter, and the chains that were in the hands, the feet of Jesus, of Peter, they fell. Therefore, by the name of Jesus, I come like the angel of God's covenant in the fullness of his host. Wherever these ones were tied down, I command them to rise. Because your time, your time has come. So the chains in their hands, the chains around their neck, the chains around their waist, the chains in their feet, in their ears, in their mind, in any part of their body, those chains fall now. Do shout Jesus. Angel to Peter, put on your garment, get your loins. And as the angel moved with Peter, a gate opened by itself. At this point, what kept you for years? Any kind of sickness, any kind of bondage is letting you go by itself. Three, shout Jesus! says as the angel passed through that gate and the gas the gate opened of his own and they went to another gate oh and the gate opened by itself wow the other gates that no prophecy could take you out of the other gate that fasting and prayer could not take you out of the other gate that no assignment Utmobot and all those things could not get you out of by the name of Jesus those gates open of their own for shall Jesus and God commanded that the people of Israel will carry the ark. The priest will carry the ark and the trumpet will be carried by the priest also. And they will walk around the walls of Jericho seven days. And on the seventh day, they will march seven times. And after that, they will give a mighty shout. And God told them, Watch, something will happen. By the time we get to seven times and keep marching in the name of Jesus, watch the walls will crumble and lives shall be lifted. Five shout Jesus! Says in Acts of Apostles, while Paul and Silas were singing at midnight, other prisoners were listening. Suddenly, there was an earthquake, and all the doors of the prison got open. 
and all the chains got broken not just their own chains all the chains of all other prisoners because Jesus came because the promise of God can never fail he saves he will save because he's the God of salvation six shout Jesus Ancient things that kept people. Lift all your two hands. It is just one night. We are almost done. We are almost done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I came to raise people. Good day. Your business will work again. Sincerely. You will go back to where you failed and succeed. Why? Because as the people of Israel marched around Jericho the seven days, seven days, and they blew the trumpet, and the people began to shout, the walls came down. Are you ready? When you shout Jesus this seven times, you keep shouting. Sorry for Jesus. You keep shouting. And then, as you shout, you declare, I am free. As you shout, you begin to declare all that you have to declare. You keep shouting. Do not stop. Do not stop. Are you hearing me? Seven. Shout Jesus. Keep shouting.
Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8. We are almost done. <laughs> Revival is here. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. How many people want to encounter fresh anointing of the Spirit? You know, all of you who have just dedicated your life to Christ, this is your moment. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost is what will make a difference in your life. Are you ready? Are you ready? Lift up your two hands everywhere. Everywhere. Say, I believe. I believe. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. I believe that the Father wants me to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I believe that Jesus wants to baptize me with the Holy Ghost. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I love this part. After this part, you shall dedicate your own family line. You shall, you will begin to prophesy light. When the Spirit comes upon you, you will now be the one to prophesy light upon your family. Are you hearing me? So this, you need this power. Say, Lord, I need this power. Power from above. Don't sing. Don't sing. Just lift up your two hands and close your eyes. There is power from above. Power from above. There is power from above. From above. I believe. I believe. There is power from above. I believe. I believe. There is power from above. God can do anything, anytime, anywhere. God can do. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Holy Spirit, I love you. Just lift up those two hands and begin to wave. Everyone in this place. Just wave. Say, Holy Spirit, come and fill me with fresh fire. Every minister here, please, you need revival. Every child of God here, you need revival. Those who are dedicating their lives for the first time, you need revival. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I love you. Holy Spirit, I love you. Eyes closed, hands lifted. From you. Holy Ghost, come. Holy Ghost, come. Silence everywhere except for the music. Holy Spirit of God, come. Holy Spirit of God, come. Holy Ghost, come. Don't worry. Holy Ghost, come. 
It's just going to come so gentle and so beautiful. Holy Spirit of God, come. Holy Spirit of God, come. My great friend, please come. My helper, please come. It's a long time I saw your face. <laughs> the glory of God come the beauty of God come lay your two hands on your head and close your eyes don't worry don't worry your own time has come your own time everywhere everywhere ministers please I really I prayed for you before I came ministers our nation needs revival the church needs revival Something is going to happen in your life that will take your ministry to another level. Sir, so I have been called for revival. I don't know whether you know it. Please close your eyes. You will witness it now. Now. Holy Ghost, come. Holy Ghost, come. I've been waiting for you. Please come. Holy Ghost. Lay your two hands on your head. Come with fire, come. Come with power, come. Come with glory. The world needs you, please come. Or our nation needs you, please come. come. Holy Spirit of God, come. All eyes closed, your two hands on your head. The glory of God, come. The fire of God come, Holy Spirit of God come. The breath of God, please blow. Please blow on this dry bones, Holy Spirit of God. need you, please come. I love you, please come. Raise this one, please come. If you will not come, please take my life. <laughs> if you will not come, please take my life. Take my life. Take my life. If you will not come, please take my life. There is no life without you coming. <laughs> ah! Blow, blow, blow. Gentle, it's still coming. Eyes closed, don't be distracted. Blow, blow. Rabo Shanda Talabraka. Rianda Thomas Yeprela. Eyes closed, hands on your head. Let's find out those that the Holy Ghost is turning into. Apostles, those who are apostolic gracia. Eyes closed, hands on the head. Holy Ghost, please. I'm begging you. Let apostles rise. Those who are apostolic fire. Hando reke ramanda tala mundo prelia talo reka to mandate lea bro la ta 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 linde ke bro la ta 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 ta. Show them. Empower them, clothe them, reveal them. Eyes closed everywhere. Holy Spirit, every family needs a prophet. 
Your word says all of them shall prophesy. What are you saying tonight? Have you changed your word? Will all of them prophesy tonight? Please reveal it, reveal it, reveal it. Malakato Riamandekete Likatama Sumandakata. Let the spirit that makes all prophesy come upon everyone here. Take it, 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 take it. The fire, the fire, the fire, the fire, the fire, the fire, the fire. The revival of new tongues. Oh, see us, Assisias. Recommandato. Oil for see us. Accurate seeing from the Holy Ghost. Believers shall not be blind. Accurate seeing. Rondo toll under kata. Your hands upon your head. The oil of the seer. Rebo landa ta la monde pre lia ta ta dota melia to mande pre lia kata le ma se pra la monde te ya kata take it 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 Where are these mighty men and women? Mighty warriors. The church is powerless without mighty men and women who can pray. The grace of prayer is coming upon this place. Everywhere. 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 Lift up two hands. Let it fall on you. The grace of supplication. The power of the warrior. Of intercessor. Lord, please come and help the church. Raise warriors. Raise battle acts for yourself. Malabo katamalia. Mende ketema supre kata. La caprolianda kata intercessors for ministries, intercessors for ministers, intercessors for families, intercessors for government. La kata, two, two hands lifted. When I say close your eyes so that you don't get distracted. The gift of tongues you need. All of them began to speak in tongues. Will you be excluded from tongues? Open your mouth and just speak. The grace of tongues coming upon you. Rianda Katoma Sata. Open your mouth. I anoint your tongue with fire. I anoint your tongue with fire. Open your mouth and begin to speak. As you speak, the Holy Ghost will take over your tongue. Say, baptize me, baptize me, baptize me. You must show hunger. Don't close your mouth. Open your mouth and speak. Show hunger. Show your hunger. Rekatama siato prekata. Lema katama si pro lakata. Le mando toma si e pro landa poli anda kata le ne kete masikato le bra kata la masikato. Oh, we need guardians. We need watchers. He said, "I have set watchers on your walls. They shall not be quiet. They shall not be silent by day and by night." <sighs> Grace for watchers. Fire for watchers. <laughs> I love this part. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy 
Everyone, this is revival coming. Everyone, rise. Hold your hand as if you are expecting and receiving from heaven. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Everyone, sing it out. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Fire, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we need your fire, Lord. Hold your hand as if you are receiving something. Eyes closed, Holy Spirit. Lord, we need you, Holy Spirit. How we need you. Everywhere, sing it everywhere, everywhere. Across this stadium, sing it everywhere. This is the power you need to go homeward. Holy Spirit, you are my changer, Holy Spirit, and you are my helper, you are my keeper. Lord, we love you. My Lord, we love you. Holy Spirit. This is time for revival. Sing it like you need help. Oh. Healing fire, healing power, Everyone, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Lord, you are welcome. Please, Lord, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are Just lift up those hands and wave. Worshiping in us. Let's turn this place into real worship. As you worship, it shall revive your heart, it shall revive your gifts, it shall revive your strength. Say, You are Alpha. You are Alpha. And Omega. Sing it out, everyone. We Sing it loud. I say you are Alpha and Omega. You 
Sing it one more time louder. You are Alpha and Omega. You are. Sing it over your family. Sing it over your land. Sing it over your. Sing it over your destiny. Sing it over your future. Sing it over your ministry. Sing over your church. Sing over your father. You are worthy. Sing it from all your heart. Sing it from all your faith. You are Alpha. You are. There is revival in the house. There is revival in this study. There is revival in every church. There is revival of holiness. There is revival of righteousness. There is revival of restoration. There is revival of power. There is revival of the move of the Holy Ghost. Sing it loud. I say you are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and One more time, sing it intentionally, sing it spiritually, lift it louder. You sing with all your minds, with all your faith, sing like God has healed you. for all your needs lay your hand where you are sick in any part of your body you need the touch of God lay your hand there begin to speak the healing power of God is here then begin to ask God for anything and everything whatever is your intention open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth begin to pray tell you and speak by faith 
I command your bones to come back together. I command your joints to be made firm. I command your eyes to see again. I command your ears to hear again. I command dumb talkers be losing. Insanity be reversed forever. Doors be open. Open your mouth. Ask God for anything. He said, ask me. Ask anything in my name and my father will do it. Lay your hand where you need the power of God. is reversed. Wombs are open. Lands are taken. stop praying. Do not stop praying. Revival is the God is visiting his people. There is a promise he will save his people. There is a promise he will heal his people. Now the promise has been fulfilled. For all the promises of God that are in him are yes and amen. So in Jesus, yes, you are healed. In Jesus, yes, you are restored. In Jesus, yes, you are forgiven, you are rescued. In Jesus, yes, you are delivered. In Jesus, yes, you are free. In Jesus, yes, you break through. Open your mouth and speak. Speak like, yes, in Jesus, there is a new way. Labra kato la katiana. Speak in the Holy One. Labra sato la makata. Labra kata la makata. Labra si kata la kato prakata. Labra sekata ya lata, alaba sekata, labra kato, libra kata, labra kato. Speaking of holy, liando libra liando libra liando sote libra. Speaking the Holy Ghost everywhere. 
Speaking the Holy Ghost everywhere. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears are gone this night shall be unforgettable you unravel me with a melody it's only one night of grace, so I will not come back tomorrow. You surround. So don't tell me I'm taking your time. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you will know of deliverance. You will receive some more from my enemies. Till all my fears are gone. I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child of God lift up your two hands wherever you are singing that. I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child of God Open your mouth and speak what you are no longer under. I'm no longer. Yes. Speak it up. I'm no longer a slave of sex. I'm no longer a slave of fear. I'm no longer a slave of darkness. I am no longer backward. I am no longer stagnant. Open your mouth and declare. On some low video. On some back of me low. On some back of long. On we give you, on we give you, see, come, come, you long. No, I could not have. I'm no longer a slave to feel. Oh, I am a child of God. Or on nation, lift up your two hands. God sent me to you. Say, I'm no longer a slave to feel. A child of God. I don't know what you have been struggling with. Lift up your two hands. Say, I'm no longer struggling in this area. I am no longer defeated. Open your mouth, sir. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and declare. Sorry. Open your mouth. I have been waiting for 30 years to come. So I am not in a hurry to go. Sir, I have been waiting for 30 years to go to come here. Tell them. I am not in a I'm not in a hurry. So open your mouth and declare. I am no longer afraid. I'm no longer sick. I'm no longer weak. I'm no longer backward. I am no longer hopeless. I am no longer barren. Open your mouth and declare. Hey, I'm no longer a slave. I am a child. I'm no longer a slave. Shandala Brasia. I am. Open your mouth and declare there's visitation here. One more time. I'm no longer. I'm no longer. A slave. Halaboshi and Apolianda Talata. I am a child of God. From my mother's womb, you have chosen me. 
love has called my name. I've been born again into a family. Your blood flows through my veins. From my mother's womb, from my mother's womb, you have chosen me. The love is called my name. Mm. I've been born again into a family. Your blood flows through my veins. Say I'm no longer a slave. You are rejoicing everywhere. I'm no longer Yesterday, I am surrounded <laughs> by the Surround by songs of deliver with deliverer from the bosses we the songs on the doors let us sing our freedom our nation make it your song
So I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. You are going to do one last assignment. Just one more. And it's going to be, it's going to be three minutes. Just three minutes. Just three minutes. If you can do me a favor, if you can, especially those for this flag, these five lower governments of Akwaibo, of our own nation. If you can, if you can, if you cannot remove your shoes to make sure that your feet will touch the ground, then try and see if your hand can touch the ground. Just try. Just try. It's the last thing. It's the last thing. You are going to speak. You are going to, you are going to use this stadium to speak to your own land. Just guys saying you are the light of the world. Now you are the light of your community. God, God raised you so that something beautiful can come out of Nazareth. Now speak light upon your own land. Say from today, let blessing break out. Let what Satan say will not happen begin to happen. Let ancestors, what the ancestors have sold away and they did not dream will come to pass again. Say, I am the genuine generation of recovery, open your mouth, speak, 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 however you want to do it. three minutes, just speak, say, I take back my family blessing, I take back the blessing of my family, I take back marriages in my family, I take back restoration, I take back vision, I take back greatness, I take back glory. I take back power. I take back authority. I take back dominion. I take back light. I decree prosperity. My land, you must increase. Yield increase. Yield increase. People shall not die young. People shall no longer 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 die young. I take back the blessing. I take back the grace. I take back the honor. I take back the wonder. I take back ancient promises. What God had planned for the land that did not come to pass. I take it back. Say, I am the generation of recovery. What has never happened in my land that has been waiting for this season, I take it back. Because this missionary came, the light I have been waiting for, I bring light to my community. Say, my land rise and shine. My family line rise and shine. My roots rise and shine. My business rise and shine. My life rise and shine. My marriage rise and shine. Let prophets rise in the land. Let seers rise in the land. Let watchers rise in the land. Let wealthy people rise in the land. Let mighty ministers rise in the land. Let glorious people rise in the land. Let mighty politicians rise in the land. Let men of integrity rise in the land. People who will be blessing to our own nation. People who will be blessing to our community. Let the glory rise. Let people like Victor can come back again. Those that will be feared. Those who at the national level will be feared by the powerful. Those who will not sell the blessing of the land in order, in order to be wealthy. Let mighty men rise again. Let mighty men rise again. What brought down Namoba will not bring people down again. What brought down people like Naboba, what killed Victor and Young, will no longer kill the mighty Young. Let wealthy people rise. Let mighty people rise. Let businesses rise in this land. 
Let ministries rise in this land. Let wealth rise in this land. Let men of honor rise. Let young technocrats, inventors, let glory rise in your community, in your family, wherever you come from, whatever you represent. Let glory rise again. Let rise. Let light rise again. Let glory rise again. Let world. Let wealth rise again. Let honor rise again. Let power rise again. Let salvation rise again. Let breakthrough rise again. Keep on speaking. Do not stop. You still have one minute. Are you speaking in tongues? La bracata, la bacosa, la bacata, la bracata, la bacopata, la bracata, la bacata, 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 la in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, on the morning, in the morning of 16th of March, in 2024, I report to you that I have come to my people in our nation. And Lord, thousands of people came out. I didn't know how many people would come out. More people have been standing since yesterday. More people have been standing than those sitting. Papa, I have answered this call. Let what was to happen in our own nation as a result of this meeting, let it start now in the name of Jesus. As a young man, you told me, go home. Your people need you. You are a missionary to your people. This was an official act of like Moses coming to speak to Pharaoh about my people. Lord, I have announced light. I am trusting you that as people go back, people shall do what they could not do before. People shall enjoy what they could not enjoy before. I speak that this land is no longer associated with waste. That Oron Town is no longer a cannabis. Therefore, Oron Town, come back new. Become the center again. Amen. The destiny of Akanabu is gone. Amen. The old nature of stagnation is gone. Your roads are mighty. Your streets are beautiful. Businesses in you are beautiful. Both for the Igbos, the Yorubas, the Ibibios, the Oro, every nationality, foreigners in this place shall prosper. And our people shall prosper. Our young boys and girls will not die in cold. Violence will not claim our generation. Our nation will not be known for kidnapping and dying. Our children are not in destruction. Lord, let greatness be born again. What you asked me to bring to this land, I have brought it. Let what you wanted to do break out. In the political class, let it break out. Among ministers and ministries and churches, let it break out. In business and in profession, let it break out. In academics and training and industry, let it break out. In creativity and industry, let it break out. In our communities, young people will respect elders. Our young people will no longer take their mothers and fathers and kill because of the suspicion of witchcraft. Lord, forgive, the blood, forgive for the blood of the innocent people that have been killed by young people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oro Lala. Oro Lala Yema. Every one of you stand up on your feet. No, Oro Lala Yema. Urefon Rugo Lala Yema. Urefon Rugo Lala Yema. Urefon Rugo Lala Yema. Okobo Lala Yema. Okobo, Lala Yema. Mbo, Lala Yema. Urungi, Gigo Vrima, Lua Gobem, Lala Yema. Urunko, Lala Yema. Ngorunko, Lala Yema. Oro, No Lala, Ayema. Isomoro, Lala Yema. Akbagoro, Lala Yema. Akbagoro, Lala Yema. Akbagoro, Lala Yema. 
No, you would borrow. Amen. Bon for. No, you would borrow. Yamme. You would up. No, you would borrow. Yamme. Mouvac. No, you would borrow. Yamme. Oana. Let the belly of our nation bring forth greatness. In the name of Jesus Christ, people shall no longer look down upon this land. And this land shall be known for a praise in every area of life. And I stand in this place to speak to every nationality, speak to every community, every local government, every nation, every tribe, that this shall be so for you in the name of Jesus Christ. So rise, do what you cannot do. Do what you cannot do. Do what you cannot do. Go and do what you cannot do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can you begin to celebrate the goodness?